Hello, my name is Sue Wilson. My husband and I have been living and working in France for 25 years. And I'm here at the EBF Mission Conference in Warsaw, and we have been storytelling, sharing our stories together about what God has been doing and teaching us. And I'd like to share a story that happened to myself and my family just a few years ago. We left on a summer vacation and there was an attempt to break into our house while we were away. The police took action and arrested the youth who was 14 years at the time, 14 years old, and an older man. The older man was sent to trial separately but the lad was only 14 years old so he had to go in front of a judge and during that time my husband and I were contacted and we were asked to represent ourselves and speak at court and say what we thought and what we felt about this attempted robbery on our home and it was something I found very very difficult at the time the fact that somebody wanted to break into my home and maybe steal or destroy things there the place that I love and I've brought up my family and I, I found it very very difficult to let go of those feelings I was angry and I wanted justice I wanted revenge in some ways and with my husband we prayed together about this situation and God led us to think about this lad who was just 14 years old. What would his life be like if he had to serve some kind of a prison sentence or be sent to some kind of a youth remand center? What would his life become? We thought and prayed and as we did, we found that God spoke to us. He touched our hearts with compassion for this lad. And we felt that we should speak up for him. And my husband represented ourselves at the court and he spoke to the judge. And when the judge asked him, what would you like to say? My husband said, yes, this lad had made a mistake. That he had wanted to cause us harm. But we felt compassion towards him and we would like to help him and his family they were of North African origins and we offered to teach this lad English for a year I myself am a trained TEFL teacher teaching English as a foreign language and I spent a year once a week meeting with him and teaching him English and I remember the first time that he came to our house he came through the front gate I saw him walking towards me I had my front door open and I, I wanted him to come in through the front door as a friend, as somebody I welcomed, not like a thief or a robber trying to get in the back door. And something happened that day to me, myself, a point of compassion and reconciliation. And the family were very I suppose grateful towards us, very open and warm towards us and his mother insisted that I go around regularly and visit and she, would, she brought us a whole tray, a whole plate of specialities of biscuits and cakes so much so we, could, we had to share them with others and she was so thankful and grateful towards us and it opened a door into their life, into their family and into their culture as we opened our front door to this young North African lad. Thank you for listening to my story.